welcome to my channel so uh, this will be my first actual video I'm posting on YouTube and today I'm gonna show you guys how to make chocolate dipped rice krispie treats here's everything we're gonna need well my theme is for a graduation so I have a little graduation mode it's a cap uh, the colors are supposed to be like a pink with white mixed with a rose gold so these are rose gold and white straws uh, I have some pre tight ribbon these are like a cute rose color I have some white ribbon also I'm gonna mix the colors but I'm also show you guys how I wrote that ribbon we have some little twist ties we have white chocolate because I'm gonna be doing them all white with uh, like I'm basically trying to get this color with the chocolate so what I did here is I got some light pink I put a couple chips of the hot pink and I'm gonna add a little brown because that's how you get this rose color and last you gonna need some parchment paper and you will need rice krispie treats I prefer these ones instead of making my own because with these ones they're already sized you just pop them out of the package pop the stick in and you're good to go it's less work basically so we're gonna get started okay so first we have to melt the chocolate we melt the chocolate this is the vanilla version of the great value almond bar what we're gonna do is we're going to add a little bit of vegetable oil inside you could just eyeball it if you like not too much not too little okay that should be a good amount i prefer vegetable oil because at first i was using coconut oil but i didn't know if anybody's kids was allergic to coconut so i decided to stick with the vegetable oil so we're gonna put this in the microwave for 30 seconds twice and it should be melted it's winter right now so it's not as hot as it is in summertime so the chocolate doesn't melt as easily so we're gonna pop this in the microwave for 30 seconds i'm gonna come back i'm gonna show you the consistency and we're gonna decide if we need to put it in again so this is the consistency we got from warming it up for 30 seconds the vegetable oil helps it melt a lot it helps with the way it melts so that wasn't enough as you can see it's still hard so we're going to put it back in for 30 more seconds this is the consistency of the chocolate after putting it back in the microwave for 30 more seconds a lot of people like to take like 10 second intervals but i've been doing this for a while so i'm confident that I needed 30 more seconds. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna set that aside and we're gonna open all of our Rice Krispie treats. We're gonna lay them straight down. Some of them will be like that, but the best part is you could work that, like the little inconsistencies right out. You could just knock the flaws right out. A lot of times they have these little stints and things like that. You just have to pick which side is best for you. So after we open all of these, we basically, we take our straws and we just dip them. So that's what we're going to do. Be right back that we have everything out of the wraps we are now going to take our paper straws you can use uh sticks if you would like if that's what you prefer you could use sticks so what we're going to do is you're going to kind of try and make sure they stand up flat so you dip that in the chocolate you hold your rice crispy and you just push through. I like to push mine all the way through the bottom. 
Then I like to try and size them up. When I'm done, I like to set them on a pan so that I could set them in the fridge for a little and this around there could harden before I dip the rest. I usually set them in a the fridge for about five minutes. You don't need to wait five minutes. They dry pretty fast, but I like to just make sure. A lot of times I forget that they're in there also. So we're gonna finish pushing these sticks through a lot. See, a lot of times there's gonna be corners that you run into like that. You'll just have to make that the back side because there are a lot of inconsistencies with these packaged Rice Krispies. So you see that? Perfect. So we are going to finish putting the sticks in the rest of these. And I'll be back to show you my dipping process. Okay. Now what we do, these are out of the fridge. The chocolate around the sticks are hard, so we're able to dip. What we're gonna do is slide that out the way. You take your Rice Krispie, you hold your chocolate to the side, kind of just twirl it in there. Twirl it. You shake off the excess chocolate. And what I like to do, I like to scrape the bottom after I dip it. So again, you repeat the process. Shake. And then you drag it across. So then what that's going to do, that's going to end up making a puddle but you don't want to puddle under the bottom of your stuff. So what you got to do is you have to pick it up and move it when it starts to make a puddle. I'm going to show you in a second. So you scrape that, set that down, you dip, 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 and then you just repeat that process. So then this is what it looks like when it starts to make a puddle. You just pick it up and you move it to a new spot. Pick it up and you move it. Pick it up, you move it. And you repeat that process with all of them. Then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how to decorate. Okay, so now that we have everything dipped, 
we just gonna keep moving them around so that they don't make this little puddle I'm sorry about that guys so that they don't form this little puddle on the bottom because that looks tacky so after we move them around for a while then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them in the fridge to dry and while they're drying I'm gonna make a couple of these little graduation caps in this really pretty rose color that I tried to make so we're gonna put this in our ziploc bag and we're gonna fill them with these and we are going to make about six of these and we're gonna put them on some of them and then the rest we're gonna do a little drizzle and then I'll show you guys how to roll the ribbon so what I like to do is I like to move them back to my tray separate them though don't put them too close line them up on the tray they'll be easy to pop right off of the tray this is a non-stick baking sheet so when they dry it's easy to just pop them right off and this helps me so that I could decorate faster. You could leave them to air dry, but a lot of times I don't be wanting to sit around so long or just have them sitting out on the counter. So I'll pop them in my fridge. I have a mini fridge, like a 7.5, um, 7.5 cork fridge. And I don't put nothing in there except my treats. So I'm gonna go pop these inside the fridge and then I'm gonna come back and I'll show you how to put your chocolate in a bag and fill it. Here we have our graduation cap mold. I have a regular cup that I just put a Ziploc bag in. You could use a piping bag, whatever works best for you. Here is my chocolate I made. And I got this color. It's like a rose color. I got it from using light pink with a few bright pink. And then I added brown to give it this, this rose looking color. It basically matches my rose ribbon. And we are going to take this chocolate. Fill this bag. Fill it. We are going to be drizzling. The pretzels, the Rice Krispies, the strawberries. So, that should be a fair amount. So you're done, you lift that bag up. Voila. You wanna squeeze a little of the air out, seal it tight. Then you clip it with some scissors. What we do is we take some scissors and we clip a small end of the bag, not too big, because we also going to use this to drizzle. So you just got to make sure you pop it enough, you give it a little test and see if that works for you and this works for me. So from here. We fill our mold with this chocolate. And we set that there. So what we're gonna do, you tap it down to make sure it's in all, every little crack. And then, you take something like this, a butter knife, anything, and you scrape so that you'll have a clean chocolate. And now you put it in the freezer for about a minute and then you come back and it should be hard depending on how high your freezer is, but you come back and you should be able to pop it right out and I'll show you how to do it. 
these are out of the fridge as you can see the chocolate is hard and they pop right off just give it a little wiggle and they pop right up and the reason I'm not wearing gloves for this is because this is for my sister's graduation party so see now we go on to drizzle so you pick a front side a lot of the times you'll see how they look you see how these are different you want all your sticks to be the same way so you want to this to be the back of that one this to be the back you just strategically pick everything everything has to be correct so this looks more decent I don't know if you guys can see it from my angle but these are my fronts this is how mine will look so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drizzle these I'm going to put a little cute drizzle on them you can lay them down you can hold it in your hand it doesn't matter so what we're going to do is come back to our drizzle bag and I want to do like a sideway drizzle so you let it drip out first and then you just go back and forth see cute side drizzle some of them you could do the whole thing just to give everything a different look I feel like just keep going. And that's how that one will look. I'm just trying to do something different with all of them. So I'll go back and forth between those two designs. Go back to just the bottom. The side corner. I like this look better because I feel like it gives you like the best. Like you could see the white. I like that you could see more of the white with that one. And, and guys, you could do what you please with your wasted chocolate. A lot of people throw it away. A lot of people like to keep it and reuse it because once you got it on the parchment paper, it's just going to dry up by the time you're done, which is just like form chocolate all over again. A lot of people, after they use their chocolate like this, they like to go and make like candy melts. They let them dry, and now they have candy melts in this color. I continue to make these. Um, you'll see that the little tassels are not together the way the mold is. You can't get fondant or um, chocolate out of those. So, I have a way to make it work, though. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to put a little piece of chocolate on, and we're going to stick that right onto the middle of our Rice Krispie, and then we're going to take like the smallest drop of chocolate to make this one work. Good, I love you tweezers. Okay, so then we leave that alone and let that dry. And we do the exact same thing. 
pick all of them. Push that down. Okay, so scratch that. I couldn't find the tweezers. So we gonna make it work. have all the pieces glued on what you will want to do is you take one of these bags i got these from what's it called party city and you just pop it in you squeeze the top like that and you add a pre-made ribbon twist it on and this is what it will look like. So after you set that to the side, uh, you just go ahead and you finish the rest. You pop them all in the bag. You put all the different color bows. I'm doing a mix on the color of bows since the colors are like a rose color and white. So this is what it's like with the white bow. And how I do these bows, I basically, I take a piece of ribbon and I cut it to the length that I like. I kind of like mine to overflow a little. You can make it shorter, longer if you like. So what I do is I take the ribbon and you kind of make like, you know, like a little, the kind of ribbons they put on pins for funerals and stuff. So after you do that, you just bring this down and crunch it in like that and you kind of fold it in and then you take a twist tie you put it on the outside you pull you line it up and then you twist so i'm gonna try to show you guys from a different angle you put your you bring this down And then if it's not right, you just adjust it while you have it like that. And you bunch it up. There you have it. You take your twist tie, you add it to the middle. Take it around. Me personally, I always like to make sure these are evenly lined up. So I just tug on that and then you twist. And that's how I do my bows. I get this ribbon from Hobby Lobby. You get it from the dollar store. I pretty much just buy a whole spool of um, ribbon. I prefer the um, 1.5 inch. I believe that's what I'll be using. These are the ones I prefer, but when I'm doing other stuff like apples, I use the thicker ribbon for that. Because the character ribbon comes thick. It already comes thin like that for Michaels. But you could get ribbon from the dollar store. It doesn't have to be fancy ribbon. You put it on, you make it look nice. And that's just that. Okay, then you just finish bagging everything. So for this, I have a set to do. I also have to do, I'm also going to do pretzels. I'm going to do some cupcakes. I can show you guys how to do um, edible images. Here is everything. Final touches.
the complete does it this is how it came out i think it looks very nice and let's give you guys a full view and yeah i think that came out really cute i'm doing a whole table for this so i'll show you guys how everything looks when i complete the table the day we um put everything together and yeah that's that